uh, let's continue our whiz around the talent in this building. And now we move to what can only be described, the doyen of early breakfast. Uh, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about Steve Denyer. Of course he is from Virgin Radio. That Steve, is very good kind. Morning. Good morning, James. How are you? Yeah, I'm really well. Thank you very much indeed. Ed, I, I see Steve every morning because we present our respective early breakfast both here and on Virgin. And yeah. then, of course, you go into your studio, I go into mine, we wave at each other like lunatics, and here we are, we're uh, able to speak today. Without glass in, in between us, which is good. It's a nice it, way. It is. Now, um, a big showbiz story. Uh, it is extraordinary. So Lizzo has been everywhere. For anybody who's kind of missed Lizzo, so what's her thing? And, uh, and of course, I, I, she was all in our psyche because there she was performing at Glastonbury. Yeah, of course. Glastonbury, she's been on the Brits. Um, she's been everywhere. She, you know, but Lizzo's philosophy is all about promoting body positivity. And there's quite simply, James, nobody else around like her. She even had a reality show recently where uh, they were trying to find backing dancers that look like her. And everything kind of it goes in, in the face of, you know, you should look like this, you should look like that. She was the I mean, one let's just person say that, so who said, I am what I am, you know? Yeah, and she's, look, we, we've had all these conversations about, you know, do you need to be uh, stick thin and attractive to be a pop star? And the simple answer to that, of course, is no. We've got used to lots of different people coming with, with all sorts of different backgrounds mm. and otherwise. But she really pushed all sorts of boundaries and then also uh, a lot of plaudits for getting people excited about classical music and the flute and all that. Yes. Yeah. However sued by three former dancers. Yeah, I mean, this is really messy. They are, um, they're, they're alleging inappropriate sexual conduct, racism, um, you know, things said against their religious beliefs. There's messy tales about nights out in Amsterdam and Paris strip clubs. So they've kind of thrown the book at her. Wow. Um, last night, she finally made a statement. It's taken a few days. She said that she's, well, she's branding these allegations outrageous, unbelievable. She said the last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. But the problem is the fallout has already started. Lots of people writing stuff on social media. Overnight, she's lost 120,000 followers on Instagram. Beyonce was live on stage a couple of nights ago and took her name out of a song where she usually gets mentioned within this song, wow. Break My Soul. Okay. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. We don't know how much money, you know, the ex-dancers want at the moment, but, you know, it's all out there and it's really messy. And as I say, it's a really bad week for someone who has worked so hard to change our views on body and, positivity. And, of course, until resolved, um, a lot of, um, you know, big backers and everybody else wouldn't necessarily touch us. So we will see, uh, we will see uh, how that plays out.